took the time, if I didn't, to go back and say a rest in peace to Wes Unso. I uh, used to former great NBA player, coach, and general manager of the Washington Bullets Wizards. Well, a very prominent, powerful player at center, arguably considered the best passing big ever. As a matter of fact, if you talk to one Kevin Love, Wes was somebody that he looked up to. And if you watch uh, Kevin Love's long passes from one side of the rim to the other, Wes also was someone that he definitely admired. And for a guy that was undersized, he definitely got in the work. He's the only player in NBA history who was a rookie of the year and MVP. And he had one, he won, he won a championship when the Washington Bullets beat the Seattle Supersonics back in 78. Team with Elvin Hayes and Kevin Greavy. Kevin Greavy and Porter. Uh, Dick Motto was a coach. I'm just doing this off of recollect, straight up. Real young back in the day. But point is, West Onso was a strong, tenacious soul brother, you know. And he definitely got in on them boards, you know. Didn't and see that's the thing about it. He definitely represented a different era of basketball play. He wasn't one of those kind of cats that um, was uh, going to let anybody get in the way. He was very bullish and determined. One of the greatest players ever. Also, one of the most underrated players ever. And then when you think about what he did as a black man who had multiple levels of jobs within one organization, that was a testament to his impact and what he meant. So. I think that it's a shame that some of our greats don't get their full due with what all the things that they've done, you know, and I wanted to take that time to acknowledge because I got to see a little bit. I got some more of him coaching, but I did get to see a little bit of him playing. Definitely was a student who caught the highlights and was definitely admiring of the way he he would because he was actually like a pre Moses Malone with them boards. But his passing game was sick. I mean, Wes Onso, that man could be, he, he, like, I'm thinking, like, the NFL had been down with black quarterbacks back in the day. This guy had a, not, had a strong arm. So I um, just wanted to take the time to send thoughts and prayers out to his family and friends and fans worldwide and that this guy was very important on and off the court. And he passed a couple weeks ago at the age of 74. So I just wanted to show, show, send out the shout-out. And the, what the impact he had as a league MVP, as a rookie of the year, finals MVP, and a great a champion on and off the court. Rest in peace, West Onso. Any thoughts and thoughts with there and reflections on him? Hit that like, hit the subscribe, wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And it's always important to remember the greats that paved the way. I'm out.